Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103, and the question is 5. This is a carbon copy of question 4, and I'm going to do it to the same, well, the same, to the same extent. So it reads, a man has to roll from A to B and back again, where the magnitude of AB, that's a displacement, is 480 meters. He can roll in still water at 8 meters per second. Show that the journey takes less time by in still water than if there was a current flowing from A to B at 2 meters per second, and by how much. So once again, he's only going to roll on a river, so we don't need the J or the Y axis. So this is the X axis, and we only need the I hat unit vector. So the first thing we'll do is draw the velocity of the water, Vw, which we know is 2 units, and I'm going to say it's going in the positive I direction. I'm going to call this point A, this point B. And we know the total distance is equal to 480 meters. So let's analyze what does VEF mean? It means VE minus VF. But what does it physically mean? It means that F says that it is or believes that it is in a stationary frame of reference. So how does that fit into the information we're given? We're told that the uh, he can row in still water at 8 meters per second. So where the water is still, the water is stationary. So this becomes water. And if this is water, well then this of course will be the, uh, is it, we'll, call, we'll say the roar, I'm going to call it VR. So VRW is 8 units. Now the magnitude of it is 8 units, because of course we have not given it a direction. So let's give this a direction. All right. So we're given that VRW is equal to VR minus VW. Now, if I want to row initially with the current, so I'm going to row this way, then I'm setting out in the positive i hat unit vector direction. Therefore, it is going to be equal to plus 8. Plus 8. So therefore, VR minus, and it's going to be minus plus 2 is equal to plus 8. Therefore, VR is equal to plus 10. Does that make sense? Yes it does and the reason is because if you're moving with this moving current well then of course the current is going to speed you up. So we have 480 meters to do in 10 seconds so it takes 48 seconds for the motion. For, so it takes 48 seconds to go from A to B with the current. So let's do it moving against the current. So this time we're setting out in a different direction. Remember, V or W is when the water is stationary. All right? So it, it, we can set out in a certain direction. So this time, if we're setting out in the negative I hat direction, this must be negative 8 because we're setting out, V or W is setting out in the opposite direction. Of course, the water does, it direction doesn't change. It's still plus 2, and there's V R. So V R in this case turns out to be negative six units. And that of course makes sense because we're actually being slowed down by the current. So it's 480 meters divided by six meters per second and we do that in 80 seconds. So capital T, the total time is equal to T1 plus T2 is equal to 80 plus 48, 128 seconds. So I'm just going to check that in the back of the book. It doesn't actually give that answer. It just says it, it, the difference between two, two types of motion. So let's say 128. All right. So the next question is, we need to work out how long does it take to go from A to B and back again in stationary water? Well, this time we're going to move at 8 meters per second for a total distance, for a total distance of 960 meters. Like that. All right. So therefore the distance is 960 divided by 8 gives 120 seconds. And it's 128 seconds was the first one and 120 seconds in, uh, we'll say, stationary and moving. So there's an 8 seconds difference between moving in stationary water and moving in a current. That's correct. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.